Okay, now I'm getting sound. Game's just like super quiet. Let me kick that up a bit. All right, so, hello, welcome, one and all. What the fuck is going on with my TV? Why does it keep going to sleep on me? Why is it doing that? Is that back in stupid TV? Let me redo the input on my TV while we sit here and wait for the next 20 minutes for the state of play to actually start. Do 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 do. Trying to get my TV to. There we go. It's weird. All right. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to an impromptu stream. Something that is not planned, right? And by that, I mean today I forgot that the state of play was even a fucking thing that was happening until like a couple of minutes ago. So I quickly put this little stream together because because in the next 20 minutes or so that uh, conference or whatever the hell you want to call it is going to start. We are now currently in what would be considered the E3 times, you know, or used to be considered the E3 times. But I guess it doesn't matter now because E3, uh, E3 is pretty much dead. Hopefully it makes a comeback and it's better or whatever. But... While we're here, we got the next 20 minutes to sit here and just ponder about what's going to happen. So, first things first. Let's get down with the predictions, right? That's all everybody wants to talk about and all that other crazy shit. First of all, I don't even know how long the state of play is going to be. Uh, if we're going for like how um how it's always been thus far is that um is that they've been around like 20 30 minutes or so something like that right i'm not even paying attention to fucking what i'm doing in this game right now i haven't even played shifu in a while that's not even the fucking button i want to press what's the block button there we go that's the parry button and you hold it to block all right yeah, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I'm I'm going to assume that they'll still probably keep it around 30 to 20 minutes or whatever the fuck that they do, right? Um, I think that because, well, ever since E3 has, you know, gone to the wayside, for the most part, most gaming companies, if you're not Nintendo, I guess, just pretty much don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? Either they uh, hang out with Jeff Keighley and his, like, summer games thing, or they just make like a really shitty like presentation that they showed that it's really nothing unless you're Nintendo because you've been doing this shit for years but um with, with that in like regard to everything that's gonna happen I highly doubt we're gonna get anything crazy any like big big game announcements of things that we don't already know so for example they're probably going to talk about God of War Ragnarok. A lot of people thinking that it's not coming out this year. Um, and if it doesn't come out this year, it's whatever. I personally don't care that much. But it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility if it did. Mainly because for some goddamn unknown reason, PlayStation saw it as a, as a, saw it necessary to make it a point last year that it wasn't coming out in 2021 even though i'm pretty sure no one thought that it was coming out in 2021 so uh maybe maybe they've just been having an easier time with the development of that and speaking about easy developments spider-man 2 i mean we haven't really heard too much about it but considering how how like you know quick they were able to throw miles morales and granted that wasn't a quote-unquote full game even though it was like half the half the length of fucking Marvel Spider-Man, right? Like, I think, I think, uh, I don't think we'll see it like this year. I don't think it will come out this year. I'm pretty sure we'll see it here in their presentation. They'll just make a quick reminder, throw like a teaser or something like that. And, um, and kind of just, uh, probably go like, uh, it's coming out. 
like March of next year or something, if not March summer. I don't think it will be a holiday release of next year. I don't feel like it's that far off. But something that's definitely not far off that they'll probably remind us about is Forspoken. That's coming out like either this month or next month. I fucking forgot which, honestly. This crowbar is floating for some reason. So, they'll probably remind us that Forspoken is a thing that exists. They'll show a couple of indies, right? Probably show something about the devil inside, because that's something that they've been showing off since the since they started showing off the PS5 officially, right? And I think they're just gonna overall. I think they're just really gonna play it safe. I don't think there's any like any like big crazy things that they have announced. If they do, it will be like one thing, one or maybe two things. Right, and I would expect that to either be a new IP from Bluepoint or or remaster or remake or whatever the fuck it is, right? Because that's what Bluepoint does for the most part. They've been doing remakes and shit. But um, if not, I would like to see Bluepoint pull out their own IP, right? If they can, you know, make their own thing. Same thing with Media Molecule. I would like to see them come back. Well, I mean. They did Sackboy's Adventures, but nobody really talked about Sackboy's Adventures, to be honest. Right? Whether, I don't know if it's bad or not, but no one seems to be talking about it. <laughs> so, and Dreams kind of came out on the PS4 when it was when it was over and done with. So that's that kind of sucks. Right? But, you know. And there's the, uh, there's the other, um, studio that, that, uh, the new studio that they talked about their last day to play, I think it was their last day to play. It was like, I forgot what it was called, but it was like two dudes. They were standing there, they're like, we're a new studio, uh, you know, being created by PlayStation or being produced by PlayStation or whatever the fuck it is, you know? And they said that they were working on something new. So they might talk more about it here. In terms of third parties, I really don't think we're gonna see much. <laughs> I really don't, like, I don't think we're gonna see anything crazy. I really don't think we're gonna see anything crazy. Even in Jeff Keighley's like show or whatever. Right? I feel like this year is gonna be pretty tame. Hopefully they can prove me wrong. That motherfucker threw a bottle at me. I am not parrying for some reason. There we go. Hey, hey, wait your turn. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, all right? Wait, hold up. Damn it, I'm gonna die. Yeah, but we're coming up on the... We're coming up on it in like, what, 15 minutes or so? Right? You know, if I had to throw out some crazy shit right there that I would want, I mean, first and foremost, I mean, everybody wants Final Fantasy uh, 7 Part 2, right? But I don't think we would... I think that would be something that would be saved for like Tokyo Game Show. Rather than like whatever this summer game bullshit thing is that they're doing. Because at least Tokyo Game Show is an established thing that still has been happening. So, you know, that's a pretty safe bet there. Ow. Jesus. There we go. And, uh, I honestly, I mean, I would really like to see something new from Sucker Punch. Honestly, whether it's Infamous, whether it's... Sly Cooper, whether it's, I don't fucking know, one of their other IPs or whatever. Like, I just want to see them do something. It can be new too, right? Uh, I don't, hmm. I'm really trying to think about like some crazy outlandish shit that we might see. But I really, I really don't have any expectations for this year at all. All right, well, give me a quick second. I'll be right back. I'm going to... State of Play is going to be starting in like the next 12 minutes or so, right? So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go actually do something real quick. All right. I have returneth. I am here. So State of Play is starting in the next eight minutes or so, right? Supposedly. I'm looking at it right now, the countdown's going down, or whatever, right? Um, 
I went to go grab me like a drink of water and use the bathroom real quick. Uh, so in the middle of what I was saying before, right? Like I don't have any outlandish fucking crazy predictions or anything like that, you know? Because I really, I really don't, I really don't see anything crazy happening right now. But what I do want to see, and I think it was actually confirmed, I'm not sure or not, was I want to see them focus more on the PlayStation VR 2, the PSVR 2, because I was a, I was an early adopter for the PSVR, right? And, you know, I, I enjoyed it, but let's be honest, it's too many goddamn wires, it's too convoluted, it's, it's there to be an entry level, like, you know, like nice little novelty item, right? I mean, you can still play super hot in it, which I did, and it was really fun, all right? But at the end of the day, most of the time it's working off of like, like almost what, 10 year old uh, hardware right now. So it's not really that reliable, especially compared to like something that's even cheaper now, which is the, uh, the, uh, which called the Ocu the Oculus Quest 2. I refuse to call it fucking Meta or whatever the hell they're going for it because that's just a really dumb name. That in the term, <laughs> the term just makes me want to like hurt somebody. <laughs> makes me want to pull the pull the fake the fake rubbery skin off of Mark Zuckerberg and expose him for the robot that he is. That's what I want to do. But yeah, I would like to see them, you know. Show more of PlayStation VR 2, right? Show it like working. Have someone stand there and be like, hey man, here here's how it goes. Yes, it has one wire. We do have plans for a wireless later if they do, right? If they don't, then whatever. It's not that it's not that bad. If it's one wire, then it's one wire. Like it's not gonna like it's not gonna fucking kill you. And for the most part, most people aren't really gonna leave their house with their VR uh, uh, devices and stuff like that, because that's just too, that's too sensitive, right? For the most part. I know there are people who definitely do it anyways. But, speaking about like, you know, PlayStation VR and stuff like that. One of the things I really hope that happens is that if Me Media Molecule just goes, Hey guys, we kind of fucked up with Dreams, right? Because that game kind of seems like it, it would be really good if people like did VR shit in it, right? Like, I would really love to see an updated version of Dreams. Make it relevant. Be like, yo, it's like a little big planet, but in VR, right? It's crazy, man. So we got like, what, five more minutes until the shit kicks off? And then that's when everyone's gonna wanna listen to the reactions and, and expect me to like, throw a chair or something like that. <laughs> right? I really hope, I really hope the state of play isn't just like fucking 20 minutes. I really do. I honestly really do. If it's just like 20 minutes, I'm just gonna... It's like, then why even bother at that point? 40 minutes, I'll be happy, right? That's enough to get like a bunch of good shit in there. Oh my god, speaking about getting good shit in there, he got that good ass punch to my jaw. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, I got this. Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. I'm down, motherfucker. Damn. Let me rest for like two seconds. I shouldn't have done that. I knew you were gonna do some crazy shit like that. Watch some legs. Hit him with this pipe. Come on. Gotta do it. We got a couple more minutes to the state of play goes. Damn it! Got four more minutes. Wait, what am I unlocking? Whatever it is, I'm probably not gonna use it. I would really lose my- honestly, I think the only thing that would make me lose my shit right now. Like, for- for state of play. Oh, damn it. That was a little too fast for me. Is if, is if they honestly go like, and here's Sly Cooper 5. That's all I really want, honestly. I don't care about anything else right now. I just don't want that game to end on a cliffhanger, that series. I love that series, man. Which is weird, because I didn't even grow up with it. 
but I love it like I did grow up with. I love it like I'm like I love Jack and Daxter, but at least with Jack and Daxter it ended, right? You don't have to worry about that. How the fuck you get in here? I opened the door, bitch. <laughs> How the fuck you get in here? Also, one more thing, just because this stream's like super unplanned, right? I apologize if you guys hear any children in the background. Wasn't my plan, you know? I honestly didn't even remember that state of play was happening until like two minutes ago. <laughs> That's a lie, two minutes ago, more like, how long have I been going for now? 20 minutes ago. That's when I realized it was happening. Alright. They seem to be getting ready now. Just kind of waiting for the for the IGN idiots to get off the fucking screen because half of the time they just say some crazy shit with buzzwords and stuff like that and nobody gives a damn. Alright. Gonna switch over. Mute that, and where is my, where's my audio? Hey Breezy, how's it going? Where the fuck is my, oh, there it is. Alright. Dude, I am so surprised that fucking Brian Altano is still even at IGN. Like, I have seen that guy's face so many fucking times. PC ports coming uh, of uh, iconic first party. I've seen this guy's face so many times, and I have had so many different feelings towards this guy. Like I remember, I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember like all the years. Whenever a video would start, you would just hear him go fucking brat, and I'm like, can you stop doing that, dude? You're like fucking, you're like 30 years old. Stop it. All right. How's the uh, how's the audio for the um, what you call it, for the video, for the YouTube video? By the way, if there's any fuck ups during this goddamn video, it's not my fault. It's IGN because somehow they always fuck up their streams. I don't know how they do it. Writing notes for your last uh, for your last final, but doing all right. All right. Damn, why don't they just do them all in one day? Fuck it. You're gonna be dead anyways. By the end of it, it's good for you. All right, that's cool. Because I know sometimes they like to fuck around with the audio too much. What the hell is he even talking about right now? Oh, he's talking about Elden Ring and shit. I haven't played Elden Ring yet. Sadly, even though I love Dark Souls, right? And I think the only reason I haven't done it was because. uh was because everyone else was playing it, right? You know, it was that wonderful time where every YouTuber is like, watch me play Dark Souls, the hardest game ever. I'm gonna rage quit. Right? See. If you had science, organic chemistry, and physics finals in one day, you would cry. I mean... I'd rather get it all done in one, honestly, for me. Because fucking, because worrying about it for every other goddamn day, I can cram, I can cram everything in just for one day of like super brain powered mode, you know what I mean? But after that, I'm like hibernating for a week. This guy is saying something really stupid, they are not definitely doing a Vita 2. They'll never do another handheld. It'll be 10 more years until PlayStation does another handheld. I'm pretty sure fucking Microsoft would do a handheld before before fucking PlayStation does another handheld. I feel like you would mix up formulas, forget something uh, for one, but remember while <laughs> remember while taking the other. No, you'll remember it after, like after it's over. You'll be like, wait a minute, I fucked that up. Oh, that's kind of loud. How loud was that? 
Spider-Man. I literally just said it's going to be spring. Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man. What am I looking at? Rockstar? What is this? Resident Evil 4. RE4 Remake. Okay, well, I'm already wrong. I didn't expect any big third-party announcements. Well, I mean, like... I'm gonna lower this a little because it's actually really loud. I mean, like, here's the thing. I don't consider RE4 Remake to be a big announcement. Man, maybe I lowered that too much. Let me kick that back up a bit. I don't consider RE4 Remake to be a um a big announcement because we've already known about it everyone known about it before re2 remake even came out right are they adding like an extra chapter for luis okay There he is. There he is. Big old cult leader. Hmm. All right. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Oh no. Oh no. Don't make don't make don't make him RE6, Leon. Don't do that. Different. Oh no, don't do that. The thing about RE4 that was so fun was that he was a fucking, like, he was like a, a action movie star dickhead. <laughs> fucking suplexing zombies and shit. PSVR 2 content. Okay. State of play returns, and we've got some great PlayStation updates to share with you today. With thanks to Capcom for kicking it off with Resident Evil 4 coming to PS4. Oh, that's a good art. That's some good box art, actually. I like that. Now let's get a sneak peek at four games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Okay, so they're doing add-ons for Village, which is expected. Now, let's take a look at them. Okay, that's expected because I found it weird that they did it for seven and the, and then they just went never again, right? You know. Let me know, is the- is the fucking- On my side, the video is like really loud. Let me know, is it quiet for you guys? Can you hear it over me? Am I too loud? Do I need to kick up the sound of the video? I would definitely play this again in VR. Well, mm, would I? I would, I think the only part that actually ever scared me was the, uh, was the one with, um, with, in, like, uh, Beneviento's house. With, like, the dolls and shit. Well, the baby. The fucking, the giant baby fetus that wanted to kill me. I think that's the only time I ever legitimately was scared in this game. Both Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 8. Our playthroughs that I did, you can check them out on my YouTube channel. It's there on the screen. <laughs> okay. Stream sounds fine. See, you can make out what they're saying. All right, I'll kick it up a little bit more. There we go. This is. Is this a? F Oh, this is Walking Dead. Okay, so the Walking Dead VR game is coming to a uh, PlayStation VR 2. Okay, that's good. What is it called? Satan Sinners? I think it's called Satan Sinners. I heard this was like one of the one of the better VR games. Like the really really good ones that people recommend all the time. Like not not exactly on the level of Half-Life Alex, but but good enough to where it's like, yeah, it's around there. Vow to spill it. When the 
the bells ring, the song they sing will be righteous. Is this fucking Satan Sinners? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Satan Sinners 2. Is Satan Sinners already on PlayStation? This is a sequel to it. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Is this fucking, uh, what is it called? No Man's Sky? Yep, it's No Man's Sky. <laughs> just looked at the just look at the outer space and you're like, yep, it's that game. There's nothing they can do to make me play this game. Nothing. Maybe if you gave me like a million bucks and like and like did something for me under the table at the same time, maybe I would consider playing it. Right? I never cared about No Man's Sky. Not when it was announced. I saw it through the bullshit. Everyone else bought it, got depressed. And I was like, I don't know why people fell for it. It was so, it was so like, it was so obviously a lie. Where are you taking me? This is the horizon experience. <laughs> Supposedly they're making a VR game, you know, for it. But I highly doubt it. I feel like this is going to be more of like a, uh, a Batman VR type thing. Like a quick experience, maybe that's like two hours. Because the Batman one was like four hours, I think, right? And if you want to go through the levels again and complete it, it was like six or something. Blameless Marad had me released from prison. If they can make an eight hour VR game, I'd appreciate it. Like game game, you know? Climb the mountain. And climb the mountain, my ass. This looks so, so uninteresting to me. <laughs> this looks like the most, most like, most like, uh, you know when a uh, fucking, what you call it, Quest was coming out? Oculus Quest was coming out and they're like, Star Wars, Dark Vader, Immortal Experience or whatever the fuck. It's episodic. And then like, it came out and it was like nothing. <laughs> and I don't think they ever made an episode two to that. I don't think they ever will. Right? I feel like this is what this is. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time to climb into the light. Mm. Man, if you're gonna put all this work into this, Hi. fucking give me a Godzilla VR game. Right? I hope you enjoyed your first look at Horizon Call of the Mountain. Coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2. We're also happy to announce that. I mean, they did have a Godzilla VR experience when uh, Shin Godzilla was coming out, 2014. It was Japan only, right? I downloaded that shit. I played it. I was like, Godzilla's so big, <laughs> he's right there, and now I'm dead. It was like a five-minute thing, but it was nice seeing Godzilla. I liked it. Yeah, but I like Horizon Zero Dawn. The first one, right? I didn't play the second one. Not yet, anyways. I'm going to at some point. But... But I mean, like... I'm not that excited about it. Not for the VR one. For details on this free update, please check out PlayStation Blog. From all of us at Gorilla, thank I'm surprised they went with Horizon for their exclusive for VR instead of God of War. I think that would have been like an easier one for them to do because I mean who doesn't want to be a mindless bald-headed man just throwing your fucking axe and yelling at your son <laughs> boy kill the thing get it away from me These past few years, here it is spider-man called it so much and asking for nothing if you want to change the world I'm telling you if it's not spring of next year it's summer it is it, it is not gonna be it is not going to be a a fall of next year. It can't be. That's too far. Even with like COVID delays, it's too far. Right? Bring back Felicia Hardy. 
That was one of the best. That was besides like uh Spider-Man Edge of Time, I think Felicia Hardy in Marvel Spider-Man might be one of the best ones. Oh fuck you, they didn't show a release date? Are you kidding me? They didn't I mean that was that wasn't even Spider-Man 2, that was all Spider-Man 1. This is uh I think this is called Stray. They showed this off like two years ago. It's like a cat in a robot world. Close, August? Mm. Wait, did it say August? Mm. No, it didn't say August. It was tiny, said August 2022. For what though? Cause they didn't show, they didn't show off Spider-Man 2. Everything they just showed off was all in Spider-Man 1. They didn't even show, <laughs> they didn't even show anything from the Miles Morales game. I think August might have been something else. What was the date of August for? It was either for one of the VR games or... Uh... Yeah, I think it was for Saint and Sinners. Am I, am I wrong? Oh my god, there's actual combat in this cat game? Hell yeah. I wanted to know what this cat game was about. Plays a nice orange tabby cat. In a world filled with robots. Stray. This has to have a release date now. Okay, July 9th. Oh, shit. Okay, so next month. Explore a mysterious cyber city in Stray. Coming to PS5 uh, take what you say with caution. It went by fast. A lot of it goes by fast, you know? Oh, I forgot. They're going to talk about their fucking PlayStation Plus new thing. No one's going to care about that. They already fucked it up. Is one of them Forspoken? Okay. We're in space. Striking Distance Studios. I don't... Oh, is this the people? Yeah, this is the... This is the uh, people who used to make... Dead Space, and then they went and made their own Dead Space. Right? I think this is what this is. I think these are the ex Dead Space people. Which is weird because because EA is doing a Dead Space uh, re uh, remake of one. <laughs> so it's like, damn. Ooh. Ooh, that robot's mean. Yeah, you can tell this is the Dead Space people because they got the life bar on the back of your character. Oh, that alien has a butt head. Oh, it's not an alien. Why did I call it alien? My bad. What, what, were, they, what were they calling Dead Space? Necromorphs? Oh, no. See, that's when I tap out. When you start throwing, like, weird tendrils and shit. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> All right. Gives me chills every time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Type 2022 instead of 2023 again. Oh, this comes out December. Oh shit. All right. <laughs> Just reinforce read with caution. <laughs> Oh, 2023? What was 2023? Oh shit, what was 2023? No, I think 2023 was one of the VR games. And what the hell is this? Okay. I feel weird about this one. Not because, not because I think it looks bad or anything, but because there's the other game that's coming out that's like, oh my god, I forgot, rollerblading's getting popular again. Because <laughs> you have, uh, you have the, uh, the, uh, what, what you call it, the Jet Set Radio inspired game, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, 
right? You have that coming out. You got a sports game with rollerblades coming out where you, like, uh, throw a ball through, like, a hoop or some bullshit. And now here's this thing. They're all, they're all fucking rollerblading games, but they're all different. This one's more combat focused. Okay. Hello? What is this, JRPG mu- Corpse party? Wait! Are we getting a new corpse party? No fucking way. No, okay, it's not corpse party. That's too anime for it. What the fuck is this? Alright, so is this actually a game, or is this like a bunch of anime shit where you press two buttons and the game plays itself? Because I'm tired of that. Right? I'm so fucking tired of every anime game looking exactly the same, having very little gameplay, and just a lot of flashing lights. <laughs> Right? There's so many anime games that just are the exact fucking same thing. And that doesn't mean it makes it doesn't mean it makes them bad, but you know, you kinda stop caring after a while. Like I look at this and the first thing that comes to mind is like that Tokyo Ghoul game that came out. Looks cool, but hopefully it's more gameplay than gameplays itself. Exactly. It's like when people kept telling me, yo, you should play the Sword Art Online game. And I'm like, I'm not going to play that. The game looks boring as hell. <laughs> Action games and dating sims collide in All right. You said dating sims. Now, now you got me. That's all you had to do. That's all I need. I'll do some arbitrary shit for a waifu. Why not? What the fuck is this? Marvel vs. Capcom? Marvel vs. Capcom, please. Please. When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey This can't be Street Fighter 6. I didn't expect to see it this early. Oh my fucking god. They're showing off six already. Alright. Okay. So earlier. During my fucking predictions, I strayed away from talking about Street Fighter 6. Because I didn't expect it. I expected it solo. I'm like, that's too soon. Right? What the fuck? Making a creative character in Street Fighter? Please, God, no. Please, God, no. Chun Li! Ah! Chunners! I love you. Ryu looking hella chonky in this game. That's a big boy. That's a new girl. That's someone new. Okay. All right. I've been waiting to see some new fighters. They seem like a lot of fucking millennials. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> like, of course you gotta have Chun-Li, Ryu, Ken, right? Oh man, people are gonna be so mad at Chun-Li. I think they're... Mm. Her design doesn't bother me, right? But I feel like other people might be bothered by her design. Because she's definitely slimmer than what she's been in, um, in other games. But her... Her legs are still hella chonky. Alright. Alright. Okay. Was that a fucking reversal? What the hell was that? Oh, shit! Wait! <laughs> Wait, is the main aesthetic for this graffiti? Is the main aesthetic for this graffiti art? Oh, shit. 
They fixed the logo too. <laughs> they fixed the logo because it looked at like dog shit before. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right. When's the beta? 2023? That I feel like that's way too soon. You're only gonna have like six fighters in that game. Either that or it's gonna be free to play. That is not a good box art. What the fuck? That looks bad. <laughs> And when did Luke get a fucking scar on his face? What happened between the games? Oh my god, two next come on the fucking PlayStation? Two next come on the play- guys. You gotta understand why this is making me like, kinda... Like, a little, a little giddy inside. I haven't played Tunic. But you gotta understand. Xbox Series <laughs> is going to sound like I'm hating on Xbox, but trust me, I'm not. Xbox Series X has been around for as almost as long as PS5 now, right? I mean, they came out around the same time. The only games that you have that are exclusive to that is Forza, Tunic, um, Halo... And, well, Halo's not even exclusive because you get it on PC. And whatever the fuck the fourth game is that I don't remember. And now you're telling me Tunic's coming on PlayStation. Xbox Series X has been out for almost two years now, and it doesn't have a game that shows off what's... That shows off the console itself. It doesn't have its own game yet. Unless you want to count Halo, but Halo fucking sucks on the Xbox. <laughs> no! Oh, that is. Oh no! Come on, Tunic was like one of the few you had. Ah. It's funny, but at the same time, I'm like, come on, Microsoft, you gotta, you got Game Pass, but you gotta have something else, <laughs> right? Oh my God, is Siren Head coming? Are kids still, are kids, are kids still hype about? Siren Head? Is that a thing that that's still hip and happening and popular? So, I forgot what this game is called. I definitely remember seeing it before. I think this is like their fourth time showing this off. And at first they didn't show much. They still kind of didn't show much, right? You found the Spider-Man announcement through YouTube? Hmm. Yeah, but they didn't show anything from Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Every clip that they showed was from Spider-Man 1. So I don't... If, if there's a release date for 2 in there... Everyone shut up! Yoshida's on the screen! Talk about Final Fantasy 16. come on! Come on! You guys should play Final Fantasy XIV. It's free all the way up to level 60 and it includes the award-winning expansion known as Heaven Sword. <laughs> oh my god. I love Final Fantasy. I didn't expect it. I expect Tokyo Game Show. I honestly did. Yoshida, you always bring happiness to me. You always bring happiness to me, Yoshida. You're the... Like, you're the best. In a, rule, in a world ruled by tyranny and turmoil, there are those who fight to take back control of their fate. So this is 16, right? Oh, look at this! Woo! Okay! There's Ifrit! What the fuck is that, Bahamut? That can't be Bahamut, no. There's Titan. Oh my god, I love how Yoshida's like, you want characters to stand out? Just give them all British accents. Oh my god. So the battle designer from this was on... Devil May Cry and fucking Dragon's Dogma. So... Gone are the days of Final Fantasy XV's weird-ass hold-the-circle-button-down combat 
and like just flail about for an hour. Oh my god, a Final Fantasy game with sex in it? That's crazy. <laughs> this time, they're actually... they're at, The clothes are actually off? Other times, we just fade the black. See, you want to know what's really exciting about this to me? Because it's being made by Yoshida, and I think the story writer for this is the person is a uh, one of the story writers for this is someone who uh, worked on Shadowbringers, which is fucking awesome, by the way, um, for Final Fantasy XIV. What I'm really excited for this is that at the end of the day, when the story's said and done, at some point, it's going to tie back into Final Fantasy XIV. And I'm excited about that. Like, even the, even the fucking summon designs right now... Like... It's heavily fucking 14 inspired. I, Ifrit is literally just Ifrit from 14. Oh my fucking god. Phoenix. Titan. Garuda. Ramu. Shiva, Odin, Bahamut, Ifrit. I'm guessing Ifrit is going to be our main character. I'm guessing we're going to be Ifrit. Seems like, uh... Seems like in this continuity for Final Fantasy, all the Idolins, summons, whatever the hell you want to call them, guardian forces... <laughs> All of them are, uh, like, kind of like the Naruto tail piece. <laughs> Just sealed away. Alright. How long was that? Oh my god, That I think that was like, what, 20 minutes, maybe, of announcements? Hmm. Because I've been streaming for, uh, says for like, four, for like 50 minutes, right? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was like 30 minutes of announcements. Okay, well, let me turn that off now because iGen's going to be coming back and they're going to start talking about shit they don't even know. <laughs> they're going to be like, you know, they're going to be talking about like, oh man, yeah, Final Fantasy, I play that. It's something about, uh, something about the crystals, right? <laughs> All right, so, that wasn't, too bad, right? Like, let me just let me just, let me just mute this right now because Brian Altano saying some really dumb shit, right? <laughs> He's like, everything we predicted in the pre-show showed up. It's like you guys predicted like a hundred things between the four of you guys. Of course, it was gonna hit, but um, so that was pretty interesting, right? I mean. I did say I didn't expect too many big announcements, but I would say the majority, eh, not even the majority, right? Because Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy, my bad. Everyone already knew about Final Fantasy four, uh, 14, fuck. Final Fantasy 16, right? Recently, we, um, like, it was really recent where we heard that the development for that game was going so smoothly that they're literally, that the main game is done and they're just going through it and, like, clearing it up. Right? So, may not come out this year or anything like I'm not sure if that had a release date or anything, but, you know, probably would come out, like, early next year or something like that. But they're just going through the game and fixing it because they have everything's already good for them. Right? So, that's not really a surprise seeing 16. Um, again, Resident Evil 4, everybody knew about Resident Evil 4 before Resident Evil 2 Remake even came out. So, it's, like, one of the worst kept secrets ever. So, fucking... <laughs> That's whatever. Street Fighter 6, I'm actually shocked that we saw gameplay of it, right? A little confused that that their their main character Luke, supposedly his character design has changed vastly <laughs> from him having like pie pie arms in Street Fighter 5. <laughs> but um you know, you can definitely see that they don't want Ryu, well, Ryu's going to be there, but they want Luke to be the face of Street Fighter now for like a new age, a new generation. Right? They're going to try it again. Last time they tried that was with Street Fighter 3 and Alex. Right? So, that's really interesting to see that they actually showed some gameplay. I'm going to have to check that trailer out again because 
there's a there's a lot to digest in that, especially if you like fighting games like I do. Uh, what else do they fucking announce? I don't even. Sp I can't even say anything for Spider Man because it's like you didn't really announce Spider Man, and you know you didn't show anything from the new one. You just showed a bunch of cutscenes from the old one. That's all. That already has a remaster on PS5. So what the fuck was the point of that? There was literally no point of showing that. Saw some gameplay for Stray, which was cool, but I would expect to see the little devil inside first before I would see Stray, because little devil inside seems to be like a, uh, I think that's an exclusive actually. So I'm surprised they didn't show that off. They showed like a couple of stuff for PlayStation VR, but they didn't show they didn't show it working in itself i, I would have liked it if like a guy came out with the fucking thing on his head and he went like here here's me playing super hot or some bullshit right you know resident evil getting vr modes that's nothing new we've seen it already right and it was expected um and Overall, there's really there was really nothing new there. It was all kind of like reminders, which which is what I expected, right? I want to say the thing that probably surprised, besides like showing off Street Fighter, the thing that probably surprised me the most is that they didn't show anything about God of War. Me personally, I don't care if they did or not because I'm not like a a huge God of War fan like that. Like I can get my mindless killing from any other game. Like, I mean, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> but, um... But, like... Fucking, uh... You know, that's the thing that... They kind of just been talking about for, like, months. And everyone else been talking about for months. It's like, God of War Ragnarok. When, when we're gonna see it, right? Like, so much so that last year they had to go like, Hey guys, it's not coming out in 2021. Even though no one... No one thought that it was coming out in 2021. So, you know, there's that. But, uh, I'm not gonna say it was a bad state of play. Like, it, it was interesting, but still nothing really new. Nothing that we didn't know. So hopefully, whenever Jeff Keighley does his little game fest or whatever, or, you know, whenever Tokyo Game Show rolls around, hopefully they uh, have more there. Like, <laughs> like, as I was talking, I had to remind myself that whatever the fuck that anime game they showed off exists. And, like, that rollerblading game. <laughs> like, I literally just remind myself in my head, like, oh, those things existed, yeah. They exist for now in my head, but, like, who knows, next week I'm probably gonna forget they were even a goddamn thing. Until, like, I get bored one day and check the PlayStation Store or, like, the Steam Shop or something, and then it's like, Remember this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's a, that's a video game. With anime. And, and high school characters. Because for some reason, aging them up beyond high school is just somewhat an impossibility, I guess. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean... Like, I can see a lot of people saying they were disappointed by this. Me, I'm not disappointed by this. But that's mainly because I didn't expect much to begin with. So, I, I really, for the most part, I really got no feelings on this at all. <laughs> was I happy to see stuff? Yeah, I was happy to see stuff. Right? Street Fighter and Final Fantasy. I was happy to see. I'm going to rewatch those trailers, right? But, at the end of the day, I mean, everything else is kind of, yeah, okay, I already knew about that, so, yeah. <laughs> but, who knows, we still have, like, the rest of the summer for, like, more gaming announcements, like, Xbox or Xbox is probably going to have their inside at Xbox or Xbox ID or whatever the fuck they call their stuff. EA is probably going to try and do something again. Ubisoft's probably going to have their Ubisoft present or whatever. And then they're probably going to not talk about how everyone that works under them is like pretty much a rapist. <laughs> um, Activision is just going to hide under a rock somewhere. 
and who else who else usually speaks up i hope capcom doesn't try and do anything again because last year they tried to have a presentation and it was like the worst thing possible like nothing happened and it was just it was just some some lady talking to you about shit you already knew about like shit that was literally announced like the two like two days ago and everybody still was talking about it and we didn't see anything new <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> i don't know right uh, and then Nintendo, yeah, Nintendo always has their, um, their directs and shit like that, so. Like, I'm pretty sure Nintendo's gonna have something crazy to show. I mean, technically, they already did, I guess. They, uh, they had a, um, reveal for gameplay for Pokemon, um, Scarlet and Violet. And then, I think yesterday was also gameplay for Sonic Frontiers? Or Frontier, whatever the fuck that game's called. I haven't watched it yet, so you know, I could watch it now, but I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> if I'm if I'm interested enough in it, I'll probably record a video and put it up on YouTube, like a quick like five minute video, and be like, okay, well that was cool, <laughs> that was cool, whatever. Oh my god, I hit that guy once and then he went down like a fucking deck of cards. That's crazy. Hit the deck. There we go. I love Shifu. This game is too hard for me. But I love it, though. So, I guess that's going to be it for now, right? Honestly, didn't plan to do the stream at all. And then I was like, wait a minute. Did they did they do the state of play already? Oh, okay. They, they didn't? I guess I'll stream it because I'll probably record it anyways. But, you know, not, again, not disappointed, but not crazily wowed. Happy, satisfied, you know, but nothing that's going to make me, like, text somebody and go, Oh my god, dude, did you see this? It's fucking crazy, right? So, that's going to be it for me right now. Uh... Next time I stream or whatever, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on Twitter and I'll be like, I'm going live with some bullshit. I don't fucking know. I don't even feel like doing my usual outro. I ain't got it. Like, this wasn't even like a full stream. I've only been here for like an hour. So, anyways, that's what I think about the PlayStation State of Play. And I guess maybe I might do another one of these if I feel like it. If Nintendo or Xbox or whoever the fuck does something and I got time to do it. But uh, as of right now, I think I'm pretty good, chilling. I'm not, I'm not anticipating nothing crazy, right? So that's gonna be it for now. As always, if you came and watched live, thank you very much. I appreciate it, right? If you like what you see, leave a follow. If you want me to stream more in the future, well, if you want to make it possible for me to stream more at convenient times in the future or whatever, you know, make it easier for me. You can send me a sub. And if you got, uh, what you call it, if you got Amazon Prime, you have a free fucking Twitch sub. So, you know, it's no extra cost to you. You can just kick that towards my way if you feel like it, or kick it towards whoever the fuck you feel like. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I'll just die in the gutter penniless. That's a lie. I'm not penniless. I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing pretty okay. I'm, I'm doing pretty okay for myself. But, um, you know. That's all it is. If you're watching this on YouTube and you and you know and you're happy that I didn't scream your ears off because oh my god, something crazy got revealed, leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out. And other than that, I just want to say thank you for watching again. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef Take off.